Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the third lecture on topic profit loss and discount. If you remember, in the last lecture, I had told you that we would start with all the important types of problems which can be asked from this very topic. And also, I had completed one type as well. So today, again, I'll pick one more type where the agenda would be to show all the variation of questions which can be framed from it. So let us start. So now it's time to start with type 2 where you'll find problems based on unequal quantity buying and selling. And to understand this, let us discuss the first question. If cost price of 8 items equals to selling price of 9, find the profit or loss percent. Now to do this calculation, you know, I can very easily write down the same expression in mathematical form. What I'm trying to tell you, can I write down this thing as cost price in place of off, I can use a multiplication sign. So cost price of 8 items is equals to selling price of 9 items. Now what I want, I want you to maintain this form SP upon CP. Why? Remember because we always write down the ratio in this given form final upon initial in the chapter of profit and loss. Initial value is cost price while final value is selling price. Try to maintain the ratio in this form selling price upon cost price. In order to do this, I'll just keep 8 in the same side and now I'll bring this 9 to the other side. If I do so, 9 will come in denominator. So after doing comparison, you would realize when cost price is 9, selling price is 8. So if you look at the change, what change we are looking at? We are looking at a negative change. Negative change means a loss. So let us calculate loss percent. A loss of 1 over which price? Over cost price. And what is 1 by 9 in terms of percent is something which we all are aware about, right? 11.11 percent. Now, another thing which I want you to realize is, if you look at this setup carefully, it says cost price of 8 items equals to selling price of 9 items. So, the relation is given to us by using the quantities. It says, whatever is the cost price of 8 items, it is equals to selling price of 9 items. But if I ask you, do I know what is the cost price of 8 items? What is the selling price of 9 items? The answer is no. So what I can do, I can assume a value here. In order to find out cost price and selling price, I can assume the total expenditure and revenue. Since the two are same, I can assume them as any value. So let us assume LCM of 8 and 9. So if I ask you, what is the LCM of 8 and 9? Ek aisa number jo 8 or 9 dono se divide hota ho, sabse chota number, tum bologe wo number hai 72. So, what did I do? I have the cost price of 8 items ko 72 assume kiya. And because the selling price is equivalent to that, it will be 72. Now, let's see. If cost price of 8 articles is 72, what will be the cost price of one article? You would say it's 72 by 8. And that is why I am getting the value of cost price as 9. Likewise, if you try to calculate why selling price of 9 articles is equivalent to 8, we'll get to know the reason from here. Because 72 by 9 is what? It is 8. That is why we are getting the value of selling price as 8. From now on, whenever I see a question of this type, where the relations is given to us in the form of quantities, you don't need to do this thing again and again. Once you understand the reason, you'll simply do it using the mathematical way. Okay. And then you can easily calculate, okay, what is the profit or loss percent? Simply maintain the ratio in this form, SP upon CP, and your job would be done. If you have understood this, I want you to try one more question. It is very easy. Let's read the question one. If cost price of 750 grams equals to selling price of 900 grams, find the profit or loss percentage. Now, how would you solve this? You would say, sir, let me just convert this in the mathematical form. And then what would you do? You will maintain a ratio. In what order? SP upon CP, always. So I'll keep 750 to this end only and I'll take this 900 to the other side. If I take 900 to the other side, it will come in denominator. Let's simplify. Zeros will get cancelled. 15, 5, 75. 15, 6, 90. So what values I'm getting for CP and SP after doing the comparison, I can clearly see when cost price is 6, selling price is 5. So what kind of change we are looking at? We are looking at a negative change. Negative change means a loss. So let's calculate loss percent. A loss of 1 over 6. 
and what is 1 by 6 in terms of percentage something which I'm already aware about it is 16.66 percent and please do not forget to mention minus sign so minus sign is simply an indicator which tells us that we are doing a loss calculation okay let's do one more question a person buys 40 items of equal value for rupees 500. Now, what does it mean? It means when this person ne in 40 articles, how much did he buy? How much did he buy? How much did he buy? We have told you that in 40 items, the value of one item is the same. So, it's not that one item is more cost and the other item is less cost. All the items are equal value. And how much did he buy? 500 rupees. So, let me write down this thing for you. It says, cost price of 40 items is equals to rupees 500. So read the question. How many articles must be sold for rupees 500 so that profit is 25%? So this might be confusing for some of you. Wo profit bhi earn karna cha rahe. Aur jo saman hai, wo bhi 500 rupay mein bechna cha rahe. So ye kaise possible hai? Thoda sa samaj na. Wo keh raha hai ki jab mein bechunga na, तो उस टाइम भी मैं बस 500 रुपए ही लेके आऊंगा मैंने 500 रुपए अपने पॉकेट से दिए और जब वापस लेने की बात है तो भी मैं 500 रुपए ही ले रहा हूं बट एट द सेम टाइम आई वांट टू अर्न प्रॉफिट तुम बोलोगे सर अगर प्रॉफिट अर्न करना है तो एक तरीका तो यह है कि आप 500 रुपए का सामान खरीदो और उसको 700 या 800 रुपए या ज्यादा रुपए में बेच दो सेकंड वे ऑफ डूइंग प्रॉफिट इज कि मैं क्वांटिटी कम सेल करूं इजंट इट और वही इसको यहां पे करना है Selling price of how many articles should be 500. So this is one thing which I can anticipate. Ki jo x ka value hoga na, jo number of quantities I want to sell, it should be less than 40. Tabhi wo profit earn karega. Isn't it? Okay. Now if you look at it carefully, cost price of 40 items is equal to rupees 500. While selling price of x items is also equal to 500. So can I write down this thing as cost price of 40 is equals to selling price of x and again i can maintain a ratio in this form sp upon cp you would say why not so let me keep 40 here only and now i'll bring this x to the other side so after looking at this ratio one can realize if cost price is 8 selling price is 40. now in the previous two questions i don't know whether you have realized this or not the way data was given we were asked to calculate profit or loss percent but in this question, it is already mentioned that I want to make a profit of 25%. Now, how do we calculate profit percent? You would say, sir, in order to calculate profit percent, the formula is I'll write profit in numerator, in denominator, cost price, and in 200. This is how we calculate profit percent. Now, can I write the profit as SP minus CP? Yes, this is how we calculate profit. And then let's write everything in the similar manner. What is the value of profit percent? According to quotient, I want to make a profit of 25. Let me do one more thing. Let me take this into 100 to the other side. If I take 100 to the other side, it will come in denominator. Do I know the value of selling price? Yes. As per this ratio, the selling price value is 40. What is the value of cost price? Again, look at the ratio. You would say, sir, it is x upon x. So let's simplify. 25 times 1 times 25 times 4. And then let's do cross multiplication. What is x into 1? It is x. What is 4 into 40? It is 160. What is 4 into minus x? It will be minus 4x. So if I take minus 4x to the other side, it will get converted to plus 4x. So 4x plus x would be 5x. And then in the right hand side, I'm just left with 160. Now to find out the value of x, you will take 5 to the other side. When you solve, you will get 32. So how many articles should I sell? How many articles should I sell? I should sell 32 items in order to make a profit of 25%. Something which we had anticipated in the very start. Now, after understanding this complete thing, I want you to learn a shortcut. A shortcut to find out the answer of such setup. This is a one line shortcut. So please listen to me carefully. Sabse pehli cheez hum kya karenge? Humko x ka value nikalna hai na? X ka hai? Ye yaad rakna. X are the number of articles which I want to sell at rupees 500. Kyunki x mera answer number of items ka hai. To meri jo base value hai, jahan se mein start karunga, wo bhi number of items ki hogi. Mainne kitne number of items kharide the? I have purchased 40 items. So I'm going to start with 40 and then 
let's understand the next step i want to earn a profit of 25 percent so if i ask you how can you represent 25 percent in the form of fraction you would say sir one by four now when we calculate profit percent you know that in numerator we write down the value of profit and in denominator we write the cost price so looking at this can you write down me a ratio in this form sp upon cp you would say why not you would say when cost price is four profit is one और प्रॉफिट होता किस में कॉस्ट प्राइस तो अगर मैं फोर को वन से इंक्रीज करूंगा क्योंकि प्रॉफिट हो रहा है तो मेरा सेलिंग प्राइस का वैल्यू कितना आएगा दिस इज द ओनली स्टेप विच यू हैव टू डू नाउ तो व्हाट आई एम सजेस्टिंग इधर मल्टीप्लाई दिस फोर्टी विद फाइव बाई फोर और मल्टीप्लाई द सेम फोर्टी विद फोर बाय फाइव डोंट वरी आई एल कंक्लूड मैं तुमको बताऊंगा क्लियरली मल्टीप्लाई करना किससे लेकिन अभी मैं बोल रहा हूं कि मल्टीप्लाई कर लो तो अगर तुम पहला केस सॉल्व करोगे यू विल गेट योर आंसर एज 50। तो जस्ट टेल मी वन थिंग कैन 50 बी एवर विद द आंसर ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन यू वुड से सर नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज इन द वेरी स्टार्ट आई आई एंटिसिपेटेड दैट द नंबर ऑफ आर्टिकल दैट आई शुड सेल इट शुड बी लेस देन 40। तो 50 कैन नेवर बी माय आंसर एंड देयर फोर टू गेट माई आंसर आई नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस फोर्टी विद द अदर फ्रैक्शन एंड वेन आई डू सो you would realize that i'm getting the same answer so the correct answer of my question is 32 now let me conclude this shortcut for you so please listen to me carefully what i'm trying to tell you that every time you don't need to multiply your number with both the fractions in the very start i had anticipated that my answer of question has to be less than 40 isn't it i was expecting an answer which is less than 40 and once you realize this Just tell me one thing. अगर मुझे 40, 40 को एक ऐसे नंबर से मल्टीप्लाई करना है कि 40 का वैल्यू कम हो जाए तो मुझे यहां पे कैसा फ्रैक्शन लिखना चाहिए शेल आई राइट अ बिगर फ्रैक्शन और स्मॉलर फ्रैक्शन यू वुड से सर प्लीज राइट अ स्मॉलर फ्रैक्शन नाउ आउट ऑफ द टू फ्रैक्शन फाइव बाई फोर एंड फोर बाई फाइव तो जैसे ही तुमने एस पी एंड सी पी का रेशियो लिखा ऑल यू नीड टू फिगर आउट इज कि फाइव बाई फोर और इसका उल्टा फोर बाई फाइव इन दोनों में से छोटा फ्रैक्शन कौन सा है फाइव बाई फोर एंड फोर बाई फाइव में से छोटा फ्रैक्शन कौन सा है कैसे पता करोगे सिंपली लुक एट द न्यूमरेटर वैल्यू वेर एवर न्यूमरेटर वैल्यू स्मॉलर दैट इज दॉलर फ्रैक्शन तो वो कौन सा है फोर अपॉइंट फाइव तो हम ये नहीं करेंगे विल डायरेक्टली मल्टीप्लाई फोर्टी विथ फोर बाई फाइव एंड आई रीच टू माई आंसर इन जस्ट वन स्टेप आई होप दिस शॉर्टकट इज अंडरस्टूड नाउ तो टुमारो इफ दे से दैट He has incurred a loss of 20%. Loss incur हुआ इसका मतलब उसने number of articles ज्यादा sell किए होंगे ये बस एक मैं variation बता रहा हूं ऐसा है नहीं इस question में variation है तो कल को अगर same question में बोलेगा कि 25% का profit नहीं 25% का loss हुआ तो उस case में तुमको सबसे पहले तो ये समझना है कि इस बार जो मैं answer expect कर रहा हूं वो 40 से बड़ा होगा क्योंकि लॉस तभी हुआ होगा ना जब मैंने 40 से ज्यादा आर्टिकल्स बेचे होंगे अच्छा और क्योंकि मुझे 40 से बड़ा वैल्यू चाहिए तो इस बार मुझे एक बड़ा फ्रैक्शन लिखना होगा एंड देन आउट ऑफ दी टू फ्रैक्शन यू आर गोइंग टू पिक द फ्रैक्शन विच इज बिगर विच वन इज द बिगर फ्रैक्शन सिंपली लुक एट द न्यूमरेटर वैल्यू फाइव बाई फोर विल मल्टीप्लाई द सेम फोर्टी विद फाइव बाई फोर तो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द क्वेश्चन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द आंसर विच आई वॉन्ट टू सी अगर मैं एक छोटा आंसर एक्सपेक्ट कर रहा हूं तो मैं एक छोटे फ्रैक्शन से मल्टीप्लाई करूंगा अगर मैं एक बड़ा आंसर एक्सपेक्ट कर रहा हूं तो मैं बड़े फ्रैक्शन से मल्टीप्लाई करूंगा इट्स दैट इजी राइट सो विद दिस वी हैव कम टू एन एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर वेर आई डिस्कस हाउ टू टैकल प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन टाइप टू इन द अपकमिंग लेक्चर आई शेयर टू मोर टाइप्स शोइंग यू ऑल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच कैन बी फ्रेम फ्रॉम दम आई होप यू वर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट एवर आई डिस्कस टूडे इफ नॉट प्लीज राइट डाउन यूर क्वेरीज इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स एंड ऑल्सो डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब So let's end the session. Thank you and have a nice day.